Hey guys, this is Charles and I'm one of the surgeons at South Pose. I'm just gonna discuss an interesting CT scan on a dog that presented with respiratory distress. Uh, we did the CT scan looking for evidence of a mass or anything like that. And we were surprised to find that it had a really severe spontaneous pneumothorax. So I'm just gonna bring the scan up now. Um, and so you can see that we are in sternal recumbency. So that's the sternum sitting right there. That's the spine, and these are the two scapulas right there. We've got contrast in the uh, venous uh, or in the vascular system. And then as I head caudally, the first thing that I notice is that I have lungs sitting on this side over here, and I have free air sitting here. So we've got the trachea up there. This would be the um, vena cava right there. And so as we go back farther, we can see that we've got a big pneumothorax sitting here with some atelectic lung lobe on the side. And on, on the left-hand side, which is on the right-hand side of your screen, um, the lung is well inflated. Now, as we go farther back, uh, we can see some more you know, semi-collapsed lung lobe here. And then I've got these nodules within the lung fields, um, and they don't look absolutely typical of neoplasia. So I can't tell you exactly what's going on there. It could be either old scar tissue or infectious, or it could be um, metastatic neoplasia. Then as we go back further, um, we can see more patchy densities with air bronchograms sitting here, which looks honestly more like consolidated lung lobe um, consistent with you know, uh, pneumonia or infection or something like that rather than cancer. Now, the other thing that we find here is that there are multiple nodules through, throughout all the lung fields, which are um, bullets, and those bullets uh, can be responsible for spontaneous pneumothorax in dogs. So here's another one right here. Um, it typically happens in large, deep-chested dogs, and that's exactly what this dog was, it was a large, deep-chested, um, curly-coated retriever. And so we can see again here that we've got extensive pneumothorax surrounding that collapsed lung lobe. There. And so that certainly explains why we are having the respiratory distress. Um, the emergency service has put in um, a chest tube. And I'm just going to see if they happen to have rescanned afterward. No, they haven't. Um, so it'd be interesting to see if they rescan afterward to see what would happen when we re expanded those lungs. But again, we can see the bullet sitting right there. And there are a few other ones that we can see farther cranially. So here's another one sitting right there. So anyway, interesting case. Uh, let me just stop the screen share. Uh, so interesting case. Uh, and uh, I will give you an update if anything changes with that one. So thanks a lot for watching and we will see you again soon.